Hey team, Master Sheely here. Today we're gonna to be talking about essential items every black belt needs in their gym bag. I'm not gonna be hitting the easy stuff. I'm not gonna be hitting sparring gear and punching gloves, etc. I'm gonna be hitting things that I personally have always carried with me and continue to carry with me because I think these are essential to make you a better martial art practitioner. Uh, if you've not yet, please do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, all that great stuff. It'll keep me, send us information to you. Let's get right into it. So item number one, this is something that I really, really, truly believe in, and I've used these my entire life, is ankle weights, all right? Ankle weights is the first item that I recommend you have in your gym bag. These are fantastic. These are great for a lot of different tools. You can go slow motion with your patterns, your hyungs, your katas, your forms, right? You can do slow kicks with these. Uh, you can do so much with ankle weights. I like the ankle weights as opposed to the wrist weights because you can use ankle weights as wrist weights, but you can't really use wrist weights as ankle weights. So if you just want one thing, just grab these. What I also recommend is getting a good pair, something like this where you could actually adjust them. If I could see if we could do this, right? All right, so just an adjustable one, you put the weights back in so you can really make it work for a level that you are comfortable with. Uh, these We're not gonna hit how to work ankle weights in this video. If you like that, maybe we'll hit this in another episode. But ankle weights are the first item I truly think is a great tool to have in your gym bag. Let's move on. So the next one is, this is a cool one, a lacrosse ball, right? Now the older we get, the more you're gonna need this. A lacrosse ball is fantastic for rolling, right? When you have a knot, when you have to loosen your body up, uh, this is really an essential. I carry this in my gym bag. I have one in my car. I have one in my office. I have one in my travel bag for when I'm on trips. I have them all over because what happens is these are key when you really have a knot. Maybe you were hunched over. Maybe, you know, your performance muscle, you need to roll that out. This is great for that. Uh, obviously, again, we're not going to hit this in this episode, but they are a fantastic tool and they're small, so you could really put them really out anywhere, right? Uh, this one is, I like the cross low cross ball too because it gives just a little push with it, right? Just a little bit. So something like a golf ball, it doesn't give at all. These are perfect, all right? Moving on, kind of in the same category as that, if you have the room, we have a foam roller. Foam rollers are great because these are a great tool to, again, roll out any knots that you have, but also just warming up in general. These are fantastic for all black belts to have in their gym bag, all right? So if you don't have one, definitely get one. And if you don't know how to use it, again, maybe we'll hit that in another episode, all right? Let's move forward. So the next tool that I'm gonna give you is a jump rope, okay? Jump ropes are great for when you really want to warm up, something that you could just grab, you can warm up with, and uh, you just throw it in your bag. They're small. This is this is one of mine. This is another one. This is more of a speed rope, okay? So uh, these are great tools to just kind of have in your bag, small, and when you're in the mode for it, you just warm up with it. Oh, it creates a great sweat. Uh, here's something, I, a recommendation too. If you're jumping rope, and I did, I think I hit this in an earlier video if you haven't seen that yet, but work on your jump rope, put some music on, right? Put a song on and just jump rope for the duration of that song. It's really great warm up tool. Uh, you're gonna just focus on the song instead of, you know, jumping rope, and it really just kind of helps that time pass when you're trying to warm up. So, one of those little recommendations that I have. All right, let's move forward again. All right, so this one is really key for us old school martial artists, right? And the older you are as a martial artist, the more you really need one of these. This is your Taekwondo or your martial art journal. These are important because what happens is you need to document A, your training, B, anything that you really think that you need as an individual. Let's say, for example, that your instructor really did a fantastic drill that you need personally. Take a pen, write it in your journal, write at the end of your class, and you know what? It's always there for you as a reference point. Journals are great because what happens is you can always go back to them when you need motivation, and they're in your handwriting, not anyone else's. So it's only made for you. That's what I really love about those. So if you don't have a journal, that would probably be the first tool to get because I really think they are an essential thing to have. 
I'm not saying your phone. Notice I didn't say your phone. Here's why I'm not saying your phone. Everyone these days of age, we can take our phone, we can film an instructor doing a drill. Those are great. Here's what happens. You know what? You need a quick reference in your handwriting. It's there for you. It always is. I'm not saying a video isn't fantastic. You could take a video, absolutely. But when you really just need something, it's there for you there, right? It's quick as you need it. So that would be my recommendation. Let's move forward, all right? Next tool we have, this one has saved me many, many, many times, but just something with a little electrolyte, something with a little sugar in it, a little salt. Uh, this is something if you're really feeling, you know, low, right? And uh, I've had many matches, you know, when I'm in a tournament match and I'm like, I need something quick. And uh, I would just grab, you know, one of those uh, sport drinks and those help me. Now, obviously, I'm not saying drink those all the time, but if you just have one in your bag just for emergencies, I, I think that's a really great tool. And I, I personally have these in my bag, so that's why I'm recommending it, all right? Let's hit our last one. One of the most important ones, and we're gonna finish at a strong one. This one is so important because, you know what? Your presence means a lot, right? So here's what I recommend. Take sneaker balls. All right, this is just a sneaker ball. You take a few of these, they smell great. And what you do is you actually put them in your gym bag. This will help you when that sparring gear starts getting smelly. You want you don't want your gear to smell, right? That really says a lot about you. So what I recommend is take a sneaker ball, put them in your bag, take a few of them, put them in your bag. And you know what? You won't have any issues right there. Super, super easy. And you know what? I think it's really one of those things that we all need to do sometimes, right? Team, I hope this be um, uh, video was beneficial to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out my other ones and I will see you in our next video. Take care. Oh, by the way, by the way, I do wanna say this. If you have anything that I'm missing that you have in your bag, please share it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. That's it. I'll see you in our next video. Take care.